Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode, powered by Perfect Sports Nutrition, is how to be more exciting and a cooler fighter. In today's episode, we're talking about how to be more exciting and a cooler fighter. And I'm gonna give you four different ways that you can do that, whether you're doing pad work, whether you're sparring, whether you're in a fight. Adding these little moments and these little tips and tricks, you're just gonna look that much cooler, all right? So, first thing is you gotta understand is we still wanna win a fight. We don't wanna put ourselves in a position where we're gonna get hurt, right? So, defense is still a priority. So, the first things first is I need to know my distance control. So, if I'm in here, I'm not gonna drop my hands. If I'm out here, I'm safe. I'm safe from punches and I'm safe from kicks. So, now, when I'm on the outside, I'm gonna add a little bit of a flare, okay? Okay? I'm not going to be stiff here. That's not cool looking, okay? The cool looking is when you can add these little L-step drops. You use those little Muhammad Ali steps and shuffles on the outside, circling around, okay? So I'll show you here. We'll get Diego uses Venezuelan style, and I'm going to pressure him. So you can see how he moves. He's lateral. He's keeping his hands down. He's moving, okay? He's bouncing different directions, okay? And if I'm coming here, he's moving. Okay, now from this outside style, you see his hands are down, right? That's the main thing. Now the second thing he's gonna start doing is fainting, okay? Now he starts fainting. And now when he's also fainting, he's coming forward. And when he's coming forward, okay, I want us to add a little bit of this. Coming forward with a high guard doesn't look so cool, okay? But when I come forward, I'm moving my head, I'm playing here with my head movement a little bit, okay? I'm still aware of my distance control, just using this little hands down head movement to look for counters is just a little bit cooler. You know, when Floyd Mayweather is sitting there playing in that Philly shell, looks super cool to me, the way he could move his head. Just sitting here like this, not so cool, okay? So we're gonna mix that outside movement, right? Nice flare, nice flash. And then when we're gonna line up, Diego's hands a little lower, building the fainting, okay? moving, creating, okay? So that's step number two, okay? Using the lower hands in your head movement and your eyes as defense, okay? Now, the third thing we're gonna start adding is stance switching, right? So even when we throw a combination, we might stance switch to attack and then come back out. So you're gonna always see me switching my stances before we attack, okay? So again, Diego comes in, he's gonna use the stance switching and his movement, okay? If he wants, he can mix in some strikes. I'll stay nice and tight. And you can see that movement, the fainting, the hands down, the angle changing, okay? So it's here, good, the fainting, good. So that's step three, okay? So we have the outside movement, the fainting, the stance switching, okay? Now step four is you want to start adding some kicks and flashiness, okay? Now everybody who watches MMA, now everybody's used to punching, okay? And punching, yeah, when you knock somebody out, boom, it's very exciting. But as soon as you see someone kick and someone good with their legs, automatically you're intrigued. They look a little bit more cooler, right? We look at fighters like, you know, Michel Pereira in the UFC, who people say Diego looks like, right? Once you start seeing throw different kicks, spin attacks, it just looks that much more cool, okay? So what you're gonna start adding is different spin attacks. You can add even the, the basics of low kicks, boom, sound good, to head kicks, boom, yes. Now even Diego's good with it, but mixing in your spinning back kicks, you know? Boom, spin hicks and spins and different types of attacks. Now, just talking about using the legs, boom, right? You could also mix in the knees, right? All of a sudden, you mix in a nice scissor knee to the head, okay? So again, boom, using our legs, okay? Low kicks to head kicks to scissor knees to spin kicks, all right? Now, when you put them all together, you get something that looks super cool, okay? So I'm gonna recap it while Diego does it for you, okay? So four different ways to look cool when you're doing your training. And I say cool, but you're still gonna stay defensive, you're still gonna stay sharp, and you're still gonna use your technique, but this little flair of understanding your distance control and your range is just add that little flair. It's not cool to be stiff you know, and tight guarded. People wanna see you move your head, interact, use your eyes, and nothing more exciting than seeing someone blast their legs, okay? So point one, flare on the outside. I can't touch Diego, it doesn't matter what I throw. So he can have his hands down, he can be moving, he can salsa dance on the outside, it doesn't matter, okay? 
as long as I can't touch him. But now, if we're at a point where I can touch, okay, he's going to come down, he's going to use his head movement, he's going to use his fainting to come offline, slipping and moving, he might roll and get underneath, okay, boom, counter, right? Now from here, he could switch his stances, right? I don't know what stance he's in. Boom, yes, that's going to make him that much more exciting, right? I don't know if he's an orthodox or a southpaw or what he's going to do. Is he pressuring me? I don't know, right? So that's going to make him look more flashy, okay? And now the last point is we're going to let our legs fly. We're going to throw low kicks to head kicks as our first base. Spin kicks we got. We got scissor knees, lead hook kicks. And we're just going to be flashy, okay? But at the same time, if I'm ever ready to counter, Diego's going to be ready. And boom. See? And the distance control is managed, all right? So there's four different ways that you can do to add a little bit of flair and flash to your style, okay? Be cool, but be defensive at the same time, okay? It's about winning at the end of the day. If you're going to start playing stupidly and you're going to get caught and hurt, this is where you have to be understand your range. And I keep saying that word, distance control is the number one thing when it comes to martial arts. Don't be keeping your hands too stupidly in mid-range, okay? Either here, because you're trying to set something up, move your feet, okay? Keep your eyes sharp. If you don't know how to move your head, let's take that point out. You can still manage distance on the outside, switch your stances, faint, move more relaxed, okay? Create that rhythm, okay? Don't just sit there and be so stiff. It's about catching that rhythm, okay? Catching that rhythm in the bounce. And some little simple drills, if you don't have any rhythm or you don't know what it even means, something simple as a pendulum bounce helps. So instead of me just standing here very stiff, I might add a little bit of a bounce, right? Boom, okay? Even this little bounce here, right, makes me look a little bit more relaxed and cool than just stiff walking, okay? Catch that rhythm, all right? Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA, and make sure you support the channel by supporting our sponsors, right? First off, we have Perfect Sports Nutrition. Using code Bazooka20 gets you 20% off your supplements, which you should have your BCAAs, as well as your proteins on a daily basis to help you recover from training. Then we have Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight, all linked in the description below, but you gotta check out the T3 boxing gloves. As you can see, double strap on the wrist, keeps them nice and safe and for our training, okay? And last but not least, we have bazookatraining.com where you get online curriculum taught by me every single week. Every Monday, you get four brand new videos, home workouts, bag workouts, sparring drills, tutorials, plus an archive library now of over 200 videos for you to learn and study from. And the best part of it all, less than $10 a month. So $9.99 US dollars per month gets you four brand new videos every single Monday. All right, like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Veltolini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. 
It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.